We walk with them, we run with them, we can't go anywhere without them. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 footwear brands. Bad girl Riri was her usual straightforward self, saying that she's going to be all over it, and that she's got to make Puma the shit again. For this list, we've looked at some of the shoe market's biggest names, and have chosen our favorites based on the brand's prominence, popularity, profitability, customer satisfaction, and influence on competitors. However, we've excluded any names that primarily focus on specialty footwear, such as boots and heels, unless they've also concentrated just as much on everyday casual kicks. So as much as we love the warmth and comfort of Uggs or the stylish hiker shoes of Timberland, they won't be seen on this list. They look perfect with jeans, they look perfect with fatigues, they look perfect with practically everything, they even look perfect with shorts. Number 10. New Balance. These are my 407s. Oh, they're 407s. Can I see them? Yeah. These offer a lot of support. Right. Whoa, come on! Founded in 1906 as an arch support company, this Boston-based brand quickly expanded to shoes after gaining a favorable reputation from local firefighters and police officers. Surviving the Depression and both world wars, the brand eventually began to cater to the toes of athletes and, as a part of the endeavor, invented the world's first running shoe with a ripple sole in 1960, which went on to be endorsed by prestigious state university sports teams like Tufts and MIT. 758 11D. 758-11D. Today, New Balance continues to manufacture many of its main products in the U.S., with its revenue stream reaching a peak of $2.5 billion U.S. by the end of 2014. It's ground so hard, it's a good thing I'm wearing these fresh foams. Makes the ground feel like not hard ground. Number 9. Aldo. <laughs> Full name, the Aldo Group. Man, they speak French. So learn French. Learn French or die. This Montreal name bears four imprints under its label. Little Burgundy, Call It Spring, Globo, and of course, Aldo. Opening its first store in 1987, the brand has since become a tour de force, with its rapid growth in the US, where it quickly flew off the racks of popular retailers such as Urban Outfitters and Nordstrom. It has since expanded to 1,700 corporate-operated boutiques in over 80 countries with profits peaking close to $2 billion U.S. in 2013. Today, Aldo continues to boast a good reputation and massive popularity, signing exclusive design deals with retail giants such as Hudson's Bay, Debenhams, and Macy's. Aldo definitely keeps up with the latest trends, so you can always rely on them to match that perfect outfit, and for the quality you're getting, it's a great price. Number 8. Dr. Martens. The big red ones. Oh, you're not having them, sweetheart. Look at the size of them. Oh, come on, Mom. You said. After a skiing accident, German physician Klaus Martens built a boot comfortable enough to wear through his injury. And was so impressed by his invention, he was inspired to take it to the consumer with friend and fellow doctor Hermann Funk. Together, they built Martens into a brand known for its air cushioned soles, curvy structure, and leather material. After becoming a massive success throughout Germany in less than a decade, the company caught the attention of British shoemakers R. Griggs Group, who added the distinctive yellow stitching that has since become a part of the brand's identification. There was something that was, it was outside of society. There was something for me that represented revolution, anarchy, you know, being different, like giving the middle finger. And while the Doc Martens brand is often associated with boots, their shoes, particularly their 1461s, found popularity as quickly and easily as their trademark footwear. And they're just as comfortable and durable as the rest of the brand. Together for friendship and adventure time. Yeah, man. Number seven. Steve Madden. I want you to go out there and I want you to ram Steve Madden's stock down your clients' throats till they f***ing choke on it. Founded in 1990 with a small startup budget of $1,100, founder Steve Madden went from selling shoes out of the trunk of his car to owning a billion-dollar brand of his own. Noted for its diversity in styles, Madden's footwear embraces the extravagant and decorative nature of the fashion industry while maintaining the independent and eccentric elements of the individual tastes that first defined its name. 
though the company has since expanded to manufacturing and selling accessories such as jewelry and handbags. The brand's focus still stands with shoes. With developments in subsidiaries such as Freebird by Steven, entirely dedicated to traditionally handcrafted leather boots and other types of shoes. This shoe I also love. It's just really high fashion. Number 6. Puma SE Catering to sport and lifestyle-inspired fashion, this brand is noted for its constant collaborations with athletes and celebrities from the four corners of the globe. For example, Rihanna was named creative director for the women's wear line in December 2014. And thanks to her Instagram account, we even got to see her signing on the dotted line while wearing Puma sneaks, of course. As owner of other footwear brands such as Cobra Golf and Dobotex, the company has garnered a reputation as one of the more diverse footwear conglomerates, crafting shoes for every possible consumer with every possible taste. At the end of 2014, Puma reported revenue of almost $2.5 billion US, making them one of the most profitable footwear brands as well. Number 5. Vans Opening as the Van Doren Rubber Company in 1966, the shoe factory and store was founded in Anaheim, California by brothers Paul and James Van Doren, Gordon Lee, Ryan Emmert, and Serge D'Elia. Moving forward into the 70s, Vans boasted much popularity among street skateboarders and BMX riders, leading them to advanced development with their signature off-the-wall line. The label, now synonymous with the company's motto, is praised by wearers for its level of comfort, durability, and the safety it provided for multiple extreme athletes. Today, Vans' ongoing experimentation with colors and materials make it the go-to brand not only for street riders, but also for trendsetters and casual consumers. Man, if you really track, then you gotta give hands. See me in the club, so I'm a grown man. If you see me at a party, then it must be crack, cost $36 all black. Number 4. Reebok Did I ever tell you about my Reebok story? Founded in 1895, this over-century-old company stands as a pioneering legend for its industry, surpassing a million dollars in sales in 1981. We have the lugs on the side which give you that, that cutting-in grip. Beginning their success with the novelty track-spiked shoes, Reebok has built a reputation for its innovations in design, with products such as the Freestyle and the groundbreaking pump shoe, the latter of which was the first shoe to have an internal inflation mechanic. With such dedication to engineering, Reebok's name continues to be a first choice for sponsorship in every mainstream and niche leg of the sports world, but has also garnered brand ambassadorships and endorsements from numerous non-athlete celebrities, such as Jay-Z, Nicole Scherzinger, and Scarlett Johansson. Number 3. Converse And they actually made the shoe with suede instead of canvas, and I've been really Really excited on the suede because it's a lot more durable. Commonly referred to by enthusiasts as Chucks, this all-star brand has been seen on the feet of athletes and fashionistas aplenty since 1908. They are the studded Converse. Historically the world's most successful basketball footwear company, Converse shoes were originally designed for the feet of sports professionals, a reputation it maintained until the 1970s. Today, the company is renowned for its extensive experiments with colors and collaborations, with notable partners including DC Comics and Super Mario. Still, the brand's most treasured feature is customization, with its website and retail stores allowing creative patrons to design their own high- and low-top shoes, providing leeway with styles, graphics, and material selections. Quicker you're here, the faster you go. Number 2. Adidas, Adidas in my As one of two spin-off companies resulting from the split of business brothers Rudy and Adi Dassler, this multinational brand ultimately came out on top over its Puma sibling, thanks to its early efforts with major sports associations. Noted for their technological touches, the brand has been responsible for many gizmo firsts in its market, with innovations including the first shoes to integrate a computer into their design. <laughs> As the parent company of other distinct brands, most notably Reebok, 
Adidas aptly stands as the world's second largest footwear brand in terms of revenue. I don't got the pump. Look! Oh, I got the Tim Duncan Adidas Cool Dees. I want the pump! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Thanks to the secret magic of super action midsole material, durability is enhanced. Hey, everyone's different. Skechers gets it. Those are nice. Number one, Nike. Ooh, take a gander at them moccasins. What kind of skins is them? What's that writing mean? Nike, what is that? Some sort of Asian tog or something? Founded in 1964, Nike earned its success thanks to rapid growth in popularity among casual users and professional athletes. With notoriously priced and highly valued products, such as the Air Force Ones and Air Jordans, Nike has often been credited as the brand that championed the shoe collecting game releasing many different limited edition designs during its existence. With its just do it philosophy, Nike continues to spin circles around competitors, marking the swoosh as the world's most prominent business logo and the company as the world's most profitable footwear brand being valued at $19 billion in 2014. Nike can't separate my feet from the ground, it's just... Nike's on my feet, keep my safe, complete bike, 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 Do you agree with our list? No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you got no right to wear New Balance sneakers ever. Which shoe brands do you collect? For more pavement-pounding top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It even comes with a six-month durability guarantee.